Tulsa Chang is a story about a fellow who comes out of the depths of Brooklyn. He's in the mafia, a man who was very loyal to a code. They're a close family, and they engage in organized crime. They're the embodiment of the New York mafia. It's all about respect and honor and trust. Dwight is in conflict with the choices he made as a young man that he has to stick with now. He kept his mouth shut for 25 years. No one could believe it. Coming out, he expected to be rewarded, but now he's sent to Tulsa. I want you to go there. Serious? I actually wanted to work with Sylvester Stallone for a while. This was an idea that I had, the gangster being sent from New York to middle America to establish the mob's influence in that area. What an absurd comedy of errors that would be. Who runs this neighborhood? Like, what crew runs it? No crew up in here, man. You in the middle of nowhere. It's different. It's like a Western gangster thing going on. It's exciting, it's new, and it's fresh. When you see the sort of magic of what Taylor and Terry wanted to do with the characters, I think that's what will resonate. Sounds fees. Terrence is someone whose work I've admired, and I felt that he had a real keen understanding of this world and would appreciate a real fresh look at it. Everybody responds to the mob genre, and taking that idea and those characters and placing them in a place where you'd never encounter them, it might as well be another planet. Where do you worship? I really don't go to church. All right. Oh, my God. Welcome to rural America. Filming Oklahoma, everything is different. It couldn't be any more opposite of New York. That's the epitome of country. And it's hot as <laughs> Have I mentioned that, too? The cast is not from here, so we all relate to Dwight. We've all been thrown into Oklahoma, and we're all fish out of water. The guy has to start a new life when most people think life is over. He goes out west, and now he's building a whole new family. They're not gangsters. They're just everyday people, and that's a whole different paradigm. So, uh, where to, boss? Tyson is the one who shows him around. He calls me the ambassador of Oklahoma. But I don't think Tyson knows what he's getting himself into in the beginning. You must be Bodie. Is this a robbery? He just kind of storms his way into my life and into my weed shop. But he also shows a bit of heart, even though it's complex. We're partners. Now he's in business, but he needs the comfort of something beside money. Nobody wants me. Not that bad. Dwight and Stacy have a connection. They're at a place in their lives where they're going, whoa, how did I get here and why don't I have more? And he starts to bring together these groups of misfits. Dwight begins his journey to kind of build his empire. So him and Mitch, they sort of become fast pals. Do you think regular people see me as an ex con Could be the fact that you're dressed like a grill in a suit. The one missing piece, though, is his daughter but there's also a lot of guys that are trying to put me away. So it covers so many subjects. It has heart, it has humor. Every actor is fantastic. It hits the entire spectrum of entertainment. There'll be moments of joyousness, there'll be moments of tears, there'll be moments of, will he go gangster on you? Yes, definitely. And that's where the fun begins.